So today's video, I'll be showing y'all how to make your own fox fur pillow for your bed. So, first, you're going to need the hot glue gun. Then you're going to need, of course, some hot glue gun sticks. Then you're going to need some cotton to stuff your pillow. And then last but not least, you're going to need the material that you're going to use to make the pillow. So first things first, you want to heat up your hot glue gun, so you're going to have to plug it in so it can get hot. And then after it's, you know, done getting heated up, you're going to lay your fabric out with the material that's supposed to be on the inside. And once you do that, you're going to fold it in half and make sure that it's as it's even as possible on both sides. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and start putting the glue all around the edges. That way you can start closing the, the pillow. And once you're done with that side, you're going to repeat the same thing to the opposite side. Now, if you want to sew your pillow, you can. I mean, both ways will work perfectly fine. I just wanted to do this quick little DIY without using my sewing machine. So we're going to leave the top part open because that's where you're going to start stuffing your pillow. So don't go crazy and start putting hot glue gun around all the edges. Then you're not going to have a pillow. It's just going to be a flat little piece of fabric. So I have this fur right here that came out of the pillow that I showed you guys in the beginning. Because I'm getting rid of that pillow. And I'm just separating the fur so it won't be so cluttered together. And we're going to start. I'm going to start stuffing this pillow. And I'm you're going to make sure that you're going to get all the crooks and crannies because... You don't want your pillow to be lopsided or some places it's flatter than others. You want to make sure it's even, evenly stuffed all the way around. So you need to get the corners, you need to get the bottom, the top, the sides, the middle, all over. So right here, that's the last little bit of stuffing that I'm going to use for my pillow so now I'm going to make sure I get it good and even and then we're going to start to close it so that way this pillow can be finished and look really cute so I'm making sure that I'm, I'm getting everything stuffed right because like I told you you don't want your pillow to be uneven so now I'm ready to go ahead and connect the front the top part that way it can be finished so I'm going back in with my hot glue gun and this hot glue gun was giving me a hard time because the glue likes to get stuck and I have to press it down myself by using the back part. So yeah, it was just, I was having a hard time when I got to the top.
right here the pillow is basically finished I'm just making sure that I'm getting these last little holes because I have like two little holes on the side that just didn't want to close they were being stubborn so I kept having to go back in and put the glue on the inside and close them and then after I finally got them to close I held down the sides that way they would close completely and not come apart and that was basically the it like now I'm going to use this detangling brush to detangle the fur and get all the dirt out so it won't look so dirty because my floor has not been vacuumed so I did clean the fur off so don't worry like yeah I use this for my hair but it's fine it's just fur it's not gonna hurt, hurt my brush and then after that you see all that fur flying off but after that the pillow was done it looked really cute like and it's actually very comfortable like if you want to lay on this you can or use it like just for decoration like you can like you can do whatever you want with this pillow this pillow is very cute and different and it will look so great with my new bed set but i'm not going to show you guys that yet But that is the basically end of this little DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was very satisfied with this pillow. And I stuffed it to the best of my abilities. But um. Yeah I hope you guys. You know do this little DIY as well. If you've already done it. Then you know congratulations. But um this is it for this video. I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.